Eh hey, bro. Eh hey, macam bro. Baik. Esok kau free tak? Free free. Aku ada slot kau lompat. Boleh tak? Hmm, aku rasa boleh lah. Lepas kerja aku switch switch boleh ni ah. Alright, boleh. I'll see Alright. you tomorrow eh. Take care bro. Alright. Bye bye. Ciao. Alright, ciao. My name is Shabil, I'm 20 years old and currently I'm a freelance barber. I'm also a full-time student at Temasek Polytechnic. It all started back in um, 2015 when my family actually opened a barber shop at Hajilin. Uh, and I actually learned from the head barber there and uh, it took me quite a while to get the hang of it but after about um, 4 to 5 months I actually managed to perfect my skills and came to where I am today. For students, normally I charge a rate of $15 per card and for adults, uh, $20. But for those like beer trims and stuff like that, we pay an additional $5 like, depending on the length. Mm. Personally, I feel that I charge like, quite a low price is, uh, because I can actually relate to the students and like their struggles they face. Because to go to a normal barber shop which charges like $30 per dollar or close to 25 for a student card is to me a bit too much. So I would actually charge for a lower rate with good quality as well. Yeah. I normally get customers by um, the use of Instagram and mainly by the word of mouth. Many of them come with their friends and they actually recommend to each other about my services. What music do you want bro? What kind of Indie yeah? Yeah bro. Sure. Different people have like different types of personality right? So there are some people who are more shy to open up and there are others who are like really uh, extroverts. <laughs> but I would say that most of them that come here are like really easy to talk to and like easy going. So we'll just talk about like anything and everything that we like find in common or like about just about life. Uh. It's not really like a hard to hard talk kind of. Some of the issues that I would like to highlight is that um, on certain days, especially on the weekends, I can get as many as 16 customers a day, which will actually last from morning till like late in the AM, like maybe 1 or 2 AM. So I wouldn't actually have to have a proper time to actually uh, get a proper meal. So I just have like quick bites here and there, which is actually really tiring for me. But I mean, it's my profession and I love what I'm doing. So. It's the sacrifices that I make to actually um, succeed in what I'm actually pursuing. During the whole COVID period, especially the phase one timing. I was actually working at the barber shop beforehand but my parents uh, pulled me out uh, due to safety precautions. They didn't want me to like be in close contact with anyone else uh, due to the whole COVID situation. So I actually stopped until phase two and that's when I actually decided to open up a home-based barber shop where I could actually cut uh, for my friends and like even people that I don't know of and it's actually much more convenient for me as it's just outside my doorstep. <laughs> uh, in 10 years, um, hopefully I'll open my own shop and from there I'll open like different franchises and uh, like around Singapore. And that's actually the bigger plan. I feel as though like I'll get more comfortable with my customers because it's sort of behind closed doors. In the sense that there's no one except for me and my customers when I'm cutting their hair. As compared to a barber shop, there's like other barbers and other customers, so they won't feel as open to talk when you compare it to like me cutting at home. <laughs> Honestly, I feel that once a client sits down on my chair and from the moment he I actually like communicate with them and to the moment they leave, 
it's a very good feeling for me to actually see them happy with their haircut and like being satisfied with my my work. Just standing up the whole day and really opening up to my clients is actually really heartwarming for me.